loves, it's Sam. Today I have some really fun new things to share with you. As you all know, Urban Decay has come out with some new Revolution lipsticks. So I have a few shades to show you that I got. I also have some of their new lip liners as well as some other goodies to share with you. So I just want, this is kind of like an Urban Decay New Urban Decay goodies! I don't really know what to call this, but um, basically just the, the new stuff that I've gotten from Urban Decay. So the first thing that I got is the Urban Decay B6 Vitamin Infused Complexion Prep Spray. Now, I normally use the Skin Tenavia, which I just ran out of, which looks like this. Um, and this is actually by Skin Tenavia, so I don't... I don't know if it's the exact same formula or if they've kind of switched it a little bit for Urban Decay. I love the packaging compared to the Skintinavia. The Urban Decay looks just a lot more snazzy. Um, it's got a nice feeling to it. It has the big top and then it also has the bright pump as well. This one is a prep spray. So you spray it before you put your makeup on and it's supposed to minimize pores, reduce redness, absorb oil, uh, it helps aid cell tone... Uh, I can't say that word. He helps aid cell turner... Oh, whatever. It's for all skin types. You basically just spray it about 8 to 10 inches away from your face before you put your makeup on and it's supposed to just make your skin that much better before your base of makeup. So I really love it. I've been using it a couple of days now. It um, doesn't have like a crazy scent. It hasn't irritated my eyes and it does make your skin feel just a little bit more hydrated. When you put your foundation over it, it just, the skin looks really like fresh and healthy underneath um, or through the makeup if you know what I mean. So I'm really liking that so far. I also got the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. Basically, like just think of hairspray, but for your face. But obviously it doesn't feel like hairspray. This is long-lasting, oil-free, paraben-free, temperature control technology. So basically this is supposed to help ensure that your makeup lasts up to 16 hours without cracking, melting, or fading, breathable, yet powerful. It protects your makeup from melting all off your face and looking like a complete mess. So I have been using this the last couple days as well. My makeup has lasted really, really well. Again, it doesn't bother my eyes. It, um, it just makes your skin, especially if you're someone who doesn't care for the way powder looks, but you like to wear powder because you do get a little bit oily, put your powder on and then spray this all over your face and it just gives your skin like that fresh glowy look without going oily throughout the day. Like it just makes your skin look really, really healthy, um, but it's not gonna like make your skin look oily or anything like that. So I've really been loving these setting sprays, the prep spray and the setting spray. Um, and I love that they don't bother my eyes because you guys know I have such issues for my tissues. Now, as you know, I picked up the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation, and this is what it looks like. I have been absolutely obsessed with it. Ever since I did it, I got, when I went shopping with Cassie, and I showed you in my haul, I've worn that makeup every single time I wear makeup, I've worn the Urban Decay Skin. I'm obsessed with it. Best foundation. It is like my holy grail foundation. If you haven't picked this up, you need to because this is absolutely amazing. I love the packaging. It has a pump. I've shown you before, but I just wanted to update you, you guys. Okay, I also got the Urban Decay Naked Skin Ultra Definition Pressed Finishing Powder, and this is new from Urban Decay, and it comes in this cute little pouch, which is rather beautiful. It's got little, like, flower whimsies. Uh, this is what it looks like. It's got the same top or same material as the top of the foundation. So it's kind of like that gun, it's like a gunmetal bronze. The color that I have, <coughs> uh, the color that I have is naked medium. It's got a little button you just press up, if I can figure it out. Okay, maybe I'm weak. Oh, there we go. So there's your powder. It's got a good size mirror. It's got a nice good size amount of powder. And then underneath it comes with a little sponge, which is nice to press. So if you're out and about and you're like, yikes, I need a little bit of a touch up. This powder is so silky smooth. When you touch it, it is so silky. I love it. And I wore it yesterday for the first time. Did not break me out so far. It looked amazing. It does not look powdery. It was the perfect finish. It was the perfect color for me. Um, it's just really natural. It makes your skin look really smooth without 
being powdery or anything like that. Um, so far I'm really impressed. I've only worn it once, like I said, but I'm really excited to try out some more and really work, you know, I used it with a buffer brush. I didn't apply very much because I didn't want to put too much on. So I'm going to work with it a little bit more to see what kind of how much you can go with. But so far I'm really impressed and I love the packaging. Okay, the next thing I got, which I'm so excited about because I've seen Candy Johnson use it a bunch. And it's the Naked Skin Beauty Balm Broad Spect... <laughs> broad spectrum SPF 20 it's a, a beauty bomb and you guys know I don't wear makeup every day when I'm back home when I'm just running errands or cleaning the house I don't want to put makeup on but sometimes when you self tan your body is one color your face is another color and you're like what the heck man I look crazy right now so I do like beauty bombs if they are the right formula because it just kind of evens out your skin tone gives you a little bit of color so that you don't look deathly and it just kind of makes your skin look a little bit better without looking like you have a bunch of makeup on I don't like wearing foundation with nothing else because it just looks weird so that's what <gasps> so that's why I like using beauty bombs because they are a little bit kind of you know more natural looking now I haven't tried this yet so I'm hoping that I'm going to love it because sometimes I do have problems with beauty bombs because sometimes they look really oily, they look weird, they're a, re a weird color. So I'm just going to show you on my hand. Love the packaging. Sleek. It's very, you know, skinny. I'm just going to put a little bit. So that's the color that it comes out. So it looks like it's a good match for me. Oh, it feels nice. Wow, it feels really silky. Uh, it's almost like a primer feeling and it just goes into the skin. I'll have to try it. I'll do a first impressions for you guys to let you know how I feel. So far it just makes my skin feel really silky right there. Okay, the next thing I got is the Urban Decay Revolution lipsticks. Now I'm so excited about these. I've worn two of the colors so far. I'm obsessed with them. I love them. The color that I'm wearing today is Bang. This is what the packaging looks like. So you can see it's that same kind of gunmetally bronze pack. Is it I can't quite describe. It's gun it's gunmetal with a hint of warmth. So whatever you want to call that. It's got these weird kind of like rivets, which is cool. I really like it. It's a snazzy packaging. And then inside is purple. And then it's got the more kind of flat angled um, type thing, which I love because it applies to your lipstick, your lipstick, your lips really easily. This is Bang. I have it on right now. It is the most amazing orange red. It's vibrant, it's pigmented. They don't transfer all over my teeth. They are a really great formula where it's almost tacky if you get what I'm, see I'm saying. It's, it's sometimes lipsticks, they're so like slippery and creamy that it's like, Wah! it's all over your face. So these, once you put it on, they're really pigmented. They're very opaque, um, but they're, they have like a tacky feeling and they don't go anywhere. They last so long. They don't bleed. They don't, you know, slide off your face. They don't get all over my teeth, which I love because normally I would never be able to wear a lipstick this bright uh, without it being everywhere. And they just, I love this color. Bang is like, this is going to be my new red lip because it makes your teeth look so white. Look at these things. I mean, I don't have yellow teeth, but I don't have the whitest teeth in the world. I can't uh, I can't whiten my teeth while I'm nursing. So my teeth look so white with this lipstick, like it's crazy. I am so impressed with it. I just want to wear it every day so people think I've got white teeth. It's not a shiny finish. It's not, it has a good sheen, but it's not shiny, but it's not like super duper matte. I would say it's like a modern matte, if that makes sense. It just has a nice sheen. The next color I got is Native, which I wore yesterday or the day before. And this is a beautiful pink. It's kind of like a pinky mauve. I love it, it's beautiful. If you're someone who doesn't like a really bright lip, you would love Native. It's got a perfect amount of pink without being too pink. The next color I got is Venom. And this one I picked out because I wanted to do some fall tutorials. And this is like a really beautiful, like purpley plum which I thought would be perfect for kind of Halloween not specifically for Halloween but for the fall season um, I really like to kind of do a more you know vixeny look the next color I got is obsessed and this one is like a true kind of it's almost like a Barbie pink with a slightly more purple undertone and then the last one I got is streak now this was from Cassie's recommendation this is like a nice corally pink 
and she said, oh my gosh, you have to get it, you will love it. So you can see on my hand, it does have a sheen, but it doesn't look crazy shiny on your lips. You can see right there, it's just a really pretty kind of creamy, peachy pink. I just love these lipsticks. If you're someone who doesn't normally like lipsticks, I don't care for lipsticks very much. These ones you are going to love because they don't get everywhere, they're not slimy, they are easy to work with, you can wear them, and they have great range of colors. They have tons of different colors to choose from. Now, I've got five lip liners, which holy crud moly, like literally if you have not got Urban Decay lip liners, this is my first Urban Decay lip liners I've ever had. I've seen Candy Johnson talk about them all the time. She always wears Naked or Naked 2 or something like that. I have been missing out, I will tell you that much. The one I'm wearing today is Bang, which is just a beautiful, and these are so creamy. They glide on like butter. They are so amazing, they're so pigmented. That's Bang, that's what I'm wearing today to go along with my lipstick. The next color I got is Native, which is the same as the lip lipstick that I got. Beautiful pink, very subtle. If you're someone who doesn't like a crazy dark lip, you will love Native. I got Naked, which is an amazing nude. Uh, again, if you're someone who likes that kind of nude, more subtle mouth, you're going to love this. These stay on all day. They stay on forever. They don't bleed. They are creamy. They're pigmented. They are just a perfect formula. And then I got Obsessed to go along with that lipstick, which is that more pinky color. And then I also got Venom, which goes alongside the plum lipstick that I got, which looks like that. So these are unbelievable. The, the formula of these is, it's a must have. If you haven't tried the Urban Decay, ooh, I just lost a lid. If you haven't tried them, you need to go and pick one up. At least try one. They are, you're gonna love them. They are seriously so great. And you guys know that I'm obsessed with my MAC lip liners, but these beat MAC hands down. I'm sorry, but they are just so, so creamy. Ooh, I just absolutely love them. They stay on forever. And then the very last thing, which I was so excited about when I saw it, I was like, <gasps> what? This is amazing. Okay. I saw it, <gasps> what? This is amazing. Okay. Look at this color. You know I love me some mint. This technically isn't mint, it's more on the kind of green, greeny side of green, but it's called Freak. It's amazing. It is like, I don't know if you guys can see this. It's like electric. It is the coolest color you'll ever see. It's like a chameleon or something. It's, it's, it's like it's glowing from within. It's like a, I don't know what, it's like a neon mint, if that makes sense. It's crazy. I just love it. It's the coolest color. I put it on the bottom of my eyes the other day. It just looks so beautiful. Again, just like the lip liners, I love the Urban Decay pencils, eye pencils. I've tried a lot of those and I think they're just really, really great. They stay on forever. They don't crease. They don't smudge. They're just beautiful. The texture is amazing. The formula is just creamy and long wearing and I just love them, but this color is like fabulous. I mean, it's just so fun. That is everything that I got from Urban Decay. I am so excited about all these new products. Are, if there are any things that you want me to specifically do a review on, or first impressions, or tutorial with, let me know. Um, I know there's a lot of goodies to kind of choose from, but I'm so, I mean, look at this red lip. I mean, it's like, the perfect red lip. I love it. It is the perfect color to make your teeth look whiter. Ding! You know? I mean, whiten your grill. <sighs> Who needs whiteners when you could use this? I've loved Urban Decay for so long. I've always used their eye pencils and their eyeshadows, which are probably my favorite eyeshadows of all time. But I haven't really ever ventured out to the lips or anything like that, or even the skin until Cassie was like, hey, what are you doing? You need to get this stuff. So um, I'm so, so impressed with everything that I've ever used from them. So if you haven't tried any of these products, you really need to at least go to Sephora or Ulta, swatch them and see what you think because you won't be disappointed once you swatch them. I am so impressed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this, if you found this helpful. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.